Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So a quick preview and prediction for Conor Ben versus Sebastian Formela. This fight goes down this Saturday and in my opinion this is a very interesting fight. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. You know, this is a massive step up for Conor Ben. And to be honest, at this juncture, I really wasn't expecting this level of opponent for Conor Ben. So I was pleasantly surprised when this fight was announced. Actually, this fight was originally supposed to be on the Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin undercard. But obviously that fight got scrapped. And now, this fight between Conor Ben and Sebastian Formela is headlining its own fight night on regular Sky Sports. And yeah, ultimately I'm looking forward to this one. Anyway, let's briefly go into the tail of the tape. We shall start with Conor Ben, the home fighter. He's got a record of 16-0, 11 of those 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Sebastian Formela, he has a record of 22 wins, 1 defeat, 10 of those 22 wins coming by way of knockout. So as we can see, Sebastian Formela, he's had more fights, and more importantly, he's fought a higher level of competition. For example, in his last fight, Sebastian Formela went the distance with Sean Porter. Didn't really win a round in that fight, but he showed good defence, good survival instincts, and a good chin. He's also beat guys like Roberto Ariaza, Fuelani Mbenge, and Bethuel Ashona. And in my opinion, these guys are better than anybody Conor Ben has beaten so far. So for Mela, more experienced and he's fought a better level of competition. As for the height and reach of both fighters, Conor Ben is actually listed at 5'8". However, I cannot find his reach anywhere. From the naked eye, it appears to me that Conor Ben has rather short arms. I wouldn't imagine his reach is anything impressive, to be honest. And even his height, I'll be honest, to me Conor Ben looks small. I've seen Conor Ben in person. I'm six foot one, and to me, he didn't look like five foot eight. But there we go; it is what it is. Sebastian Formela, he is listed as five foot nine and a half with a 70 inch reach. According to the official statistics, Sebastian Formela does have a one and a half inch height advantage, and I would assume he's got a reach advantage as well. Both of these fighters are orthodox fighters. Conor Ben is 24 years old, so still very young, and Sebastian Formela is 33 years old. So there we go, the tail of the tape is out of the way. Like I said at the start of this video, to me this fight is a massive step up for Conor Ben, and in my opinion, quite the gamble. Um, stylistically, I believe Sebastian Formela does things that Conor Ben is naturally uncomfortable with. If we, if we look at Conor Ben, Conor Ben is a guy who never really had a great amateur pedigree. He had a handful of amateur fights in Australia, but nothing really to write home about. And in his style, you know, from when Conor Ben turned pro to even now, you can tell that Conor's a guy who is learning on the job. You can tell he's not had that solid base to build upon like a solid amateur fighter would have. And, you know, Sebastian formela has got the skill set to, in my opinion, exploit some of these weaknesses and shortcomings in Conor Ben's game. Conor Ben naturally, in my opinion, is a pressure fighter, and he does take risks coming forwards, and he, he is still somewhat raw. Nowhere near as bad as he was when he turned pro, he certainly tightened up since then, and in my opinion, Conor Ben has improved. Um... But like I said, he still leaves gaps and openings for a guy like Sebastian Formela to exploit. Sebastian Formela is a traditional German type of fighter. And what I mean by that is, while he doesn't do anything spectacular, he's got a good solid base of fundamentals. He throws really decent straight punches. Not with much power, it has to be said, but they're crisp and accurate and thrown technically quite well. He's got a solid defense. He moves his legs quite well. And uh, he's got a nice tight high guard as well. And also, when he do catch him, he showed a pretty good chin so far. He took Sean Porter's power relatively comfortably, to be honest. Sean Porter never looked like stopping Sebastian Formela. So Formela can certainly look after himself at a certain level. He's not close to being a world-level fighter, but I would say Sebastian Formela is a solid European-level type of guy. That's what I would kind of indicate his level at. And yeah, his game plan for this fight, in my opinion, should really be reverting to type. Um, boxing behind the jab, 
keeping a nice tight high guard, looking for that long straight right hand behind the jab as well as Conor Ben moves forwards. Conor Ben's a guy who, like I said, he's a pressure fighter, he'll come forwards, and sometimes he is rather reckless coming forwards. We've seen him get caught in numerous fights in his career so far, and the guys that Conor Ben's been fighting aren't on the level of somebody like Sebastian Formela. To me, that makes his propositions in this fight very interesting. Conor, as he comes forwards, you know, sometimes doesn't pay enough attention to defence, for example, sometimes when Conor Ben comes forwards, he comes forwards with a rather loose guard, and that guard is can be penetrated by straight shots, something that, obviously, Formela does quite well. Um, also, Conor Ben, as he's gotten older, as he's had more fights, he is trying to be a bit more cute coming forwards, i.e. using a jab to find his way on the inside, etc. But a lot of the time, Conor Ben you know, kind of jabs while he's out of range and he falls in. And in those moments when Conor Ben is making those mistakes falling in, you could see Sebastian Formela timing him with that straight right hand. Formela also has fairly decent timing, and um, I can certainly see him reading the mistakes from Conor Ben. Ultimately, going into this fight, I just expect Sebastian Formela to do his thing, to box within his usual style. To me, the onus is on Conor Ben to step up the levels in this fight. It's not really on Sebastian Formela. He's fought at the higher level of competition and he's got a relatively good skill set for his level. Um, the only thing I would say for Sebastian Formela is this fight is away from home. It's in the UK where recently, well in recent years, um, a lot of the judging has been rather poor. So while I say Sebastian Formela needs to box his usual style, maybe he needs to add a little bit more... Um, output to his work. Sometimes Sebastian Formela doesn't throw a lot of punches. He's kind of content to box and sometimes he kind of just coasts in a rhythm. Maybe Sebastian Formela needs to be a bit more active in this fight. And also I would say, you know, try to try to test Conor Ben's chin early on. Conor Ben, like I said, his defense really isn't anything special. And while Sebastian Formela is not a big puncher, we've seen uh, Conor Ben get dropped by uh, Cedric Payanord, and he was badly hurt in that fight. Yeah, Payanord can punch a little bit, but he's nowhere near the level of someone like Sebastian Formela, so I'd be looking at, you know, taking the initiative at times, holding your feet, and really trying to punch through the target and hurt Conor Ben as he comes forwards. Try to, de try to domesticate the pressure fighter because, you know, that's how Conor Ben wins this fight. I don't believe he can box with Sebastian Formela, so if Formela can really put Connor in his place early on by nailing him with a few hard shots. That's going to be great for his chances, in my opinion. So yeah, Sebastian, in my opinion, just needs to do his thing, box within his usual style, just add a little more output to your work, and try to try to take the initiative on a few occasions to really catch Connor Ben and make him second-guess himself. As for Connor Ben, to me, the onus is really on him to uh, step up in this fight. He needs to show improvements to box at this level. Against someone like Sebastian Formela, an upright guy who's got a decent high guard, um, first and foremost, Connor needs to find his way on the inside. In this bout, he needs to show a lot more head movement and be a lot more, you know, dynamic coming forwards to find his way on the inside. Obviously, use the jab to get in. And also, once you're in, he, Connor needs to make that count. I think the bodywork of Conor Ben in this fight is going to be very important against a long-range boxer, a guy who can move like Sebastian Formela. So Conor really needs to focus on that body in this fight, in my opinion. First and foremost, like I said, to slow down Sebastian Formela, but also to lower his guard. Sebastian Formela has a really good high guard, like I said, so working the body is going to lower those hands so later on you can start working the head. And um, yeah, Connor does need to take this on the inside. One thing about Sebastian Formela, while he's a good technical boxer from range, in my opinion, he's not all that great up close. And Connor Ben, while he's raw, while he's very unproven, and the jury really is out on him, I actually believe he's a bit more effective on the inside in comparison to Sebastian Formela. So the key for Connor really is purely getting on the inside, try not to take too much punishment on the outside keep your head moving, keep your head off centre line. When you are a bit more stationary, use a nice tight high guard to catch the shots on the gloves, pay attention to defence, and really pick your moments to go on the inside and work. Um, so yeah, to me, Conor Ben really needs to just apply his pressure game in a more intelligent manner in this fight to in order to win. That's how I see it anyway. I'd really be surprised if Conor Ben goes in there and boxes 
with Sebastian Formela. That's that's why I'm not really paying that any mind. I'd be shocked if that happened. And quite frankly, I don't think he's got the ability to do it. If he does go in there and do that, I'll certainly eat my crow and give him his credit. I just don't see it happening. So the onus is on Conor Ben to make this a fight. And it's, and, and it's on him to really force the pace and pressure for Mela. It's just really a question of whether Conor Ben can negate the distance in this fight and get to the inside without taking too much punishment from Sebastian for Mela. Um, but ultimately, I think this fight is interesting. I, I really do. Uh, like I said earlier, I wasn't expecting this sort of step up from Conor Ben at this stage of his career. Um, and yeah, I was, ple- I was pleasantly surprised when this fight was announced. Uh, if you're looking at betting, I think this fight is certainly very attractive. Um, last I checked, there were some really good odds on Sebastian Formela. What I'll do for you guys, I'll briefly check on Paddy Power. For the gamblers out there, let's have a look at these odds. So, to win outright, um, Sebastian Formela is the underdog. Sebastian Formela is actually 6-4 to four to beat Conor Ben. So £10 obviously would return £25. And in my opinion, for the win outright, I think those are quite good odds for Sebastian Formela. If you're feeling even more brave, the odds for Sebastian Formela to win by knockout or stoppage is 6-1. to one. So obviously £10 would return £70. And Sebastian Formela by stoppage, I certainly think is a possibility. Uh, I'm not convinced by Conor Ben's chin. I'm not convinced by his defence. And essentially, Sebastian Formela is just so much better than anybody Conor Ben has fought so far. Sebastian Formela's beaten better guys than Conor Ben's fought. So, like I said, this is a massive step up, and the odds on this fight are attractive. Uh, again, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a sure thing, but I think these odds are reasonably priced, and it's worth a bet if you've got a spare tenner knocking around. In my opinion, but um, in regards to the actual prediction. Despite what I've said, I am still kind of, you know, a little unsure on this fight, partly because of the judging in the UK. That has to be said. When you make predictions and, and you know, try to predict fights, you obviously need to take into account where the fight's being held and the judging. And in the UK, quite frankly, the judging is at an all-time low. So that has to be said. You know, Conor Ben by robbery in this fight would be another realistic proposition, but... In terms of skill set, in terms of what I've seen from both fighters, I do make Sebastian Formel a favourite. I am leaning towards him, but the only thing that puts me off is the judging. In a neutral setting, I would be picking Sebastian Formel relatively confidently. Not super confident, but relatively confident. But in regards to the prediction for this video, I think I'm going to lean towards Sebastian Formel to win this fight. More than likely on points, maybe a late stoppage. I'm going with Sebastian Formela. I'll roll the dice. Why not? Um, worst things happen at sea if I get this fight wrong. It is what it is. But uh, I'm going with Sebastian Formela to win this one. Like I said, more than likely on points. Potentially a late stoppage. Anyway, share your thoughts below. It's Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.